What's up everyone, this is Cybernet 8610 and today we'll be opening up a number 10 Illuminite 10. So that's kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, I got this from Swagbox. It's <laughs> yet again, you know, if it could be any more ironic, I guess. It is. It was $10, but I used Swagbox, so of course it was free. It was like $10 shipping and all, so yeah, you have to get it. If there is a number 10 <laughs> that is a 10 and it's $10, golly, you just have to. That, that's just the universe saying you must buy this and do an opening of it. <laughs> and plus I also like Illuminite. He's been on one of my playmats for a long time and yeah. Right, we have like a little guide thing. I think it talks about how to use Xyz because this came out around the time Xyz first came out. Then of course you have the uh, Illuminite like in the promo pack. I think there's some pretty good stuff in this promo pack or at least a couple of good cards. It's too bad Illuminite went a bit better because I still like that card though. Alright, we have uh, Light Sworn Monk, Exit Saber Dark Soul, Tyrant Neptune, and Soul Morning. So Soul Morning was a good reprint out of that. I could still use that too, actually. Alright, so let's just go like how they're how they are in the tins. So Storm of Ragnarok. You can tell this is where Zell kind of first started. On there. Seeing some five D's packs in this. Alright, uh Gelfax the Nordic Beast. Rare card. Let's see. Second from a Ragnarok. Okay. Hopefully we can get some hollows out of this tin. Let's see. Ten and Snore the, uh, of the Nordic Beast. The Nordic Beast cards. They have some weird names. <laughs> One of those archetypes. Probably the hardest to pronounce archetype. Maybe. I don't know. There might be worse. Extreme Victory. All right, we have Mechlord Fortress. Second Extreme Victory. Let's see, there we go. We have Junk Servant. Oh, so far all oh, rares. Why would you do this to me, Illuminate? Right, last pack, Generation Force. There might be a reason this pin was $10. Let's see. Last pack. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's better than all rares, I guess. All right, we have Piercing Moray and uh, United Front. So yeah, that's that's the card I needed, right? <laughs> you know, it's better than nothing, I guess. So I shouldn't complain. Uh, okay, I was double checking. I didn't think there was anything in the bottom, but you never know. Some of these have like different stuff. Uh, so yeah, hope everyone enjoyed. Of course, thank you for watching. <laughs> That's still random though. You get like that ultra rare card, but you know, like I said, it's better than not getting a hollow, I guess. As always, thank you for watching. Any other openings you want to see in the future? Different tins. Hopefully that will have better results. Or uh, boxes or anything. I don't care. You know, whatever it is, just tell me, and I'll try to get it for an opening as soon as possible. All right, later, guys.